All right. All right. This is better, right, people? Okay. Where are we on? I Hi. think so. I think we're better. You know, we're just hanging out on fun, doing stuff. All right. I'm going to pull y'all up. Let's try this one more time. so crooked. Happy Friday, fellow furniture dorks. Hello. I am Teresa with Great Home good? Collection. All right. And Miss Sue is... Losing my mind. Losing her damn mind. We're crooked. All right. There we go. I think you're straight. No? Well, I don't know. Anyway, hi. So here's what's happening today. We don't know. Oh, yeah, we do. Are we good? We do know. So All right. So here is what's happening today. This beauty. This beauty. We are doing this kind of in a semi-quick fashion. We picked something that has been on the floor for a while. It's beautifully painted. It's um, been an inventory for staging for the last several from years. From several businesses ago. Yeah. So um, it's a cute, nice size desk. Um, just has a soul. So when that happens, we repaint. Um, it looks like it was originally painted with Miss Mustard Seed Milk paint. This looks yep. like boxwood, green, like yellow underneath and the yellow I think is just the Miss Mustard Seed yellow. So we thought, you know what, we're going for this chippy look anyway. It'll be quick coverage. So we it'll are, actually chip for us today. And it should hopefully chip for us because it was sealed in wax, and wax acts as a resist for milk paint. Um, but as we've talked about before, you can't always, you know, be for sure that it's going to chip. But we're going to use typewriter Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint today, which is just a nice black. It's a really good coverage. Um, I've had this paint mixed up and sitting here. Um, it is 20 minutes or so, huh? About 20 minutes, yep. It's one part water to one part powder. Um, it helps to use warm water because it'll dissipate the particles better. So we've got a nice um, like pudding-ish like consistency. Just kind of nice. And you just sort of want to keep mixing it as you go. There's so many big flakes coming off I know. Here. Literally, this has been painted for six years Probably maybe and sealed that long. And you just touch it still and paint's coming off, which means we need to seal a little better this time. But So we're just gonna take this black and our goal is wop it all out in black and then let it distress through and hopefully see some of the green in the black and then seal it and then we'll do a little grunge gray um, wax in these we're little- We're gonna be using our S50s today. Yes, we are. These. these are great, they hold paint wonderfully. These are our Klingon brushes available here at the store. Um, they clean themselves more or less once you get the water run through and the water's running clear and the paint's out you just put them in a bucket upside down and that um, paint will just dissipate out of there so we're going to get our paint brushes and get going on this because i have to leave miss sue at 2 30 because <laughs> somebody's getting their marriage license today that's, that's me that's me we're All so right. excited i'm going to pour some in here for you miss sue yay so you can have a little and i can have a little and we're just going to paint paint and like paint criminal. Criminal. i'm going to and i've got the um I got the drawers out, I'll just grab them and do the drawers real quick. So it is Friday, y'all. What's happening in your lives? Got the weekend. What's going on? Who's dressing up for Halloween? That's what I want to know about costumes. I've dressed up all year for Halloween. This is the scariest look I have. The 80s? It is scary. Oh, that's true. That's no joke. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna go and get candy, I think, in our neighborhood. I don't know if you you know if any of y'all that have kids have um trick-or-treaters coming or what and we are not straight miss sue what's that picture yeah i don't think we're straight it looks a little crooked no i mean we're sideways how did it go sideways again no we should be straight wait let me look let me just make sure we're looking straight because it says oh it I'm, says I'm, so. my bad we are you're right you're right old one, huh? you're right okay we've got comments here oh hi already the rave home collection melissa already cursing oh i'm <laughs> sorry it's friday look, miss donna says hi um, oh, Mercury and retrograde, man, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa said it looks very bright and sounds great. Well, thank you, Melissa. Yay, we're doing something right. Miss Marielle says hello. Thank you for watching. All right, so we are just going to get some good old paint on here. And again, this is Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint. Um, it is a powder that you mix with water. She can be finicky. Very finicky. If there, you know, If there's a color that you like that you just flat out want to not have any possibility of chipping there is a bonding agent that you can mix with this paint to ensure that you will not get chipping and you just get your natural you know the color that you're going for um, i thought i mixed this pretty thick but it still feels like sometimes i feel like the klingon brushes aren't the best with miss mustard seed because they're they still re damp they retain water yeah. and it thins out the paint a little bit so we'll just have to watch that there's one drawer so anyway back to this weekend 
What are y'all doing? I mean, besides the obvious Halloween stuff, are you diving into some dumpsters? I know I am. I gotta find something. I'm literally still out of furniture. Like well, Melissa nothing. and I have been trying to find things to to craft at home, so we're gonna have a crafting weekend. That looks nice. Like. That'll be fun. We need some smalls in the store. That'll be a nice little thing. Get some holiday crafts in here. How's your coverage going? Oh, yours is really nice. Good. I think my brush is probably a little. I dried mine before I picked it from the water started, so. Yeah, I might have to run and get a. I stuck it on the little the little rag and just. Just did what I could all the water to squeeze out. it out. Yeah, I mean, obviously you mix milk paint with water, but water also makes it thinner. You know, the more water you use, so if you're using a yeah, this cling on brush, you probably want to be careful to get all that excess water out of there. And again, I don't know if this is going to chip. We don't know. Um, this has been waxed. It was waxed when it was first painted, so I mean, it's possible that it'll chip. Or it's possible that it'll just laugh at us and go, no. Nope. What I think is funny about this is we've got these so that they have drawer handles in them, but they're false drawers. And Anna found that out by trying like heck to pull out the drawers. She's like, wait, these are fake. Yes, well, yes they are. I mean, this... for a dressing table, you think that would be very important to have yeah, a drawer Yeah, you would there. think so. You'd want as much little bit of storage like that as possible. This is just really, it's, it's Miss Mustard Seed's darkest, I think they're only black, frankly, but I know Artissimo is a super, super, super dark blue that sometimes comes across as black, so I'm hoping I mixed enough paint. I feel like I thought I did. Yeah, but we seem to be. It's sucking it up a little bit, isn't it? It seems to be a thirsty little thing. Yeah, that's all good. Now the back of this is painted too, so maybe just for the sake of making sure we have enough paint, we'll wait and do the back. Wait, wait on the back? Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of pieces, we do paint the backs because it makes them a nice floating piece in your home. You don't always have to have it up against a wall. Um, like I said, this one uh, is painted in the back, but we're just gonna make sure we have enough paint so I don't have to remix any more wrong. And just keep it. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody notice the shirt I'm wearing is our, our funky gold patina funky shirt. Funky gold patina. So I'm a little disappointed that her planes today are not gold patina. Oh, well, it's not to say we can't do a little I came gold in prepared on this. Gold. Black and gold, they go together. But I thought you picked out the silver. I did pick out the silver. Oh, well, it's like a funky silver patina. It's, um, we're gonna mix product again today, like we like to do, because we have lots of product and we like to use it. We have um, Dixie Bell's Best Dang Wax Clear that we're gonna top coat this in and seal it. And then around all these cool little turned detail pieces, it's hard to see them here now, but we're gonna put um, Dixie Bell's Gray Grunge Wax Ooh. and just kind of give it some highlight. Yep, I'm learning all this stuff too. Excellent. So, put new stuff. There are some cobwebs under here. Oh, I thought I got them all. All right, let me check comments here real quick. April says, hey ladies, hey, hey Miss April. <laughs> Heidi is watching, Suzanne is watching. Um, Hello everybody. Rashonda is watching. Hello Rashonda. Melissa's in the driveway, sanding wood. <laughs> Go for it, Melissa. So, yay. Well, thank you all for watching very much. We always appreciate y'all's support. You know, for somebody trying to get over some lung issues today, you probably shouldn't be sanding. Probably shouldn't be sanding, but you can't tell that sassy lady anything. I'm not. Can't do it. All right. I'm gonna move things around. We've got a strangely hopping Anna behind us. I think she's really hopping. I think she's very happy. They're hoppy. Ah, see what I did there? Happy hoppy. Happy hoppy. All right, so. Yeah, this, so the point of this is to just give it a neutral update and because black furniture has been selling lately, it seems like it's making a comeback, which we like. That's what I keep saying, but I'm told otherwise. No, I think it is. I think this will be fun because with the hopes of getting some of that color from the original paint job back through, um, and if it doesn't do it on its own, by God, we're going to force it a little bit. I have the sander out here because it's, it's, it's on. Yeah, and it looks like this was painted beautifully before it has white because you can see the original color the actual yeah i think wood. the white was uh, looks like it might be uh, latex 
Okay. And then I think uh, when Jody got it, I think she might have done some sanding to it. Yeah. And then did the yellow and then the green. Yep. Did a lovely job. Look at that. We know who paints these things. I mean, I know. Six years. You just, you kind of know. You know the um, techniques that people use. Oh my God. I am blinging paint everywhere. Well, somebody's got to take over where Melissa usually is. Ooh, I'm going to go to get my marriage started. license today it's splattered in paint. Yes, you are. And I'm not super concerned, like this was chipping paint even before we started. And so when you paint over that, obviously it's going to make it a little bit kind of lumpy or whatever. I don't really care because I want this to be a messy, for. chippy kind of look. So Give it that, that textured stuff, you don't need the salt wash. That's exactly right. This is natural texture. What are y'all thinking of this black? It's just, it's a nice, it's, this is a small little desk too. It's a desk or like Sue said, a dressing table. You want to kind of keep mixing your milk paint as you're using it because it will tend to settle on you. How are you doing on actual paint? Uh, I'm not touched the top yet. What do you think? Huh? Oh, I thought that was you and I'm like, wow, your voice got deep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And it's just it's just a nice neutral but still elegant color. And I yeah. think that green coming through is gonna be pretty cool. mm -hmm. I've been wanting to paint everything in blacks because I've I been mean, really enjoying the black. Yeah, we and we them. and all the blacks that we offer, the Dixie Bell product, the general finishes, bungalow, this Miss Mustard Seed, they're all really nice coverage. Like we're really fortunate that we've got some good products in here. We know what we're doing, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> You Most guys know what you're doing. I'm here yeah. learning. I'm learning as I go. We fake it pretty good. And you can't use that excuse anymore, Miss Sue. You've been learning as you go for the past 10 I'm years. I'm a slow learner. You are not. Can't right. use that excuse I'm, anymore. I'm a, I'm a slow finisher. Well, I'm not going to disagree with that. I love you, but you don't take those tables out of here tonight. On Monday, they're going to be black, too. I expected them to be pink <laughs> by the time I I know. Well, then I had this bed that I was doing, and I... Trust me, I'd rather be doing those tables. This bed has turned into a, a monster. Monster bed. A monster bed, but that's all right. All right. What am I missing, guys? What am I missing? Um, I love these old things. They got the old wooden there's some wheels, the back, all yeah. original. Yep, the casters are all original, which is super cool. Oh, I missed the whole back side of this. Oh, I did miss the back side, didn't I? All right. I'm gonna finish painting my portion and then maybe while Miss Sue does a little bit of drying I'll read some more comments because I see there was more. Is it time to dry? Um, most. I'm going to finish this little top. And even if you're not quite, you know, if you didn't get your paint totally mixed up, if you see a little bit of crumbles coming out, it's all right because when you sand it they'll come right off. And the most fun about this paint is when you do sand it, oh my gosh, it makes it so smooth. It really does. So we have good coverage up top here. I think I'm sitting in a puddle of paint. Huh. Welcome to my world. All right, how are we, oh, I missed the whole front. I mean, just look at the difference that makes already, and that's not, you know, that's just not sealed or anything. That is just, what just paint burn on? That is just curtain. All right, let's. All right, start, uh, wait. Yeah, we'll go started. over a little bit, like if there's, let's see, if we, if we have paint left. I'm not gonna do two coats, one dry and one not. Let's just get a bunch. You know what I mean? Just kind of go over it even when it's a little bit wet. Because the thicker it's you dry put, fast it, it is. So where I, I started it. The thicker you put milk paint on, typically it will chip. Well, if it's going to chip, it's more likely to chip if it's thicker. Let's just say that. Because again, like we've talked about, it's gonna chip if it wants to, and if it doesn't, it won't. I just want to try and ensure that we get a little sun fill in here. I think we're almost guaranteed with the way it started out. I think so too. That's my goal anyway. That's my hope. Alright, I'm just going to look at comments real quick. I feel like I'm ignoring y'all. I don't mean to be. I need to, I need to go out and get candy still today, so hopefully the store still has candy. I know, I didn't even think about that until yesterday. I'm like, yeah, we gotta get some candy. 
Miss April says that piece is looking better already. Isn't it? We think so too. Thank you, Miss April. Um, Yvette Poor says this weekend she'll be experimenting using chalk paste I bought or she bought at the store. Ooh, First the time chalk using paste stencils. Is so much fun. That's so fun. She's working on a dresser and she'll be trying the amazing casting resin for the molds. Oh, girl, you're going to have so much fun. Yes, you will. Oh, Jason Davis is watching. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. All right. I'm going to put the rest of the paint that I have just I'm doing that too on the top. That's also, you know what? I'll do my doors. I forgot about our doors. Oh, I forgot about the doors. <laughs> Let's get those a second coat because this kind of went on thin for them. All right. There we go. I think just about out of paint. Okay, I mixed up just enough. There we go. That second coat is the money coat. I'm seeing green on the top, though. Well, that's ultimately kind of what we want. We don't know what we want with this. We just know that it hasn't sold. It's a pretty color, but we're going to make it where it's a pretty neutral. Get it for you. Somebody who might not like green but likes the dice. Dressing table, right? Who doesn't like a nice dressing table? Yeah, this one is a nice one. It's just got really nice detail. All right. Man, this man. little dressing table, she's had a good life. She really has. All right, I am good there. All right, All right we got I will. Comments answered. If you want to, I'll even start doing the drawers if you want to start doing the body. All right. One for you. And dueling thicker. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make some noise here, folks. Wow, I mean, it's unavoidable. So y'all need to come on in and see us this weekend. We've got some beautiful things on the floor. We are open, we're open today until four. I'm we're not open. sure, but I think the girls were talking about wearing costumes tomorrow. Really? That's what I heard. Well, that's new so, information. This could be fun to come in this weekend. So just to I see might what just have to pop in and say hi. I'm off, but <laughs> I would love to just come on in and see what's going on. So we are open today until four. We're open tomorrow, ten to six. Nope, nope. We're closing early tomorrow. That's right, ten to four because we're closing early for Halloween. Sorry about that. And then Sunday, eleven to four. So come on in and see us. And I have sanding blocks out here that we'll try and hand sand. Um, obviously, we can also use the, the big guy, which I have that out too. This dry is looking like a carbon. Yeah. Well, it's funny because it goes on dark when it's wet, and then as it dries, it almost dries like a chalky kind of look. And then when we add the top coat, it'll darken it just, right up again? Yep, it just makes it pop right back out again. And see, you can see some of the non-mixed portions on here. Those will just be sanded right off. Okay. No big thing. Yeah, I think that's just what this needed. Just a little bit of... almost looks like I'm seeing a dark green from here if I look. Ooh, the Charleston green. Yes. Alright. Give this a good dry. Miss Sue, when I leave you, are you going to be okay? I don't know. I might go into a slight panic. <laughs> You're not even on camera right now. Did you do that on purpose? I think you did it on purpose. I do set it all up, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I might have a little bit of extra to thing here. Hold on all right, there. Charlie. I'm not going to get my glasses on. Charlie is watching us. Hi, Charlie. Hi, thank you for watching. Again, I can't. I mean, my glasses are on my head. I guess I could just put them on. Charlie but... or sorry? Well, I don't know. Let me look. Charlie. Oh. Yes. Charlie, last name. K-N-U-V. I see You're you. new. Welcome. Thank you. We appreciate new viewers. We love new viewers. We, have like we love people. our old viewers. We, we love, love viewers. We love all viewers. And I am trying to get some chippy activation going on here. And heat will do that. I mean, obviously... You want it to just dry on its own, and that is when chipping will happen. But you can also, especially with this piece that's already been painted with milk paint and already been wax sealed, heat will activate chipping as well. 
like I'm seeing I'm seeing it right here. Some of it is from underneath. Okay. If anybody has any questions about Miss Mustard Seed Paint, <laughs> she's your girl. I love it. It's my favorite. We've been painting it with forever. It's, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I'm usually screaming and making up curse words as I'm using it because it doesn't do and what I want. And come back the next day and find out and it's apologized And then I go, oh, I forgive you. It's just a, it's a hit or miss. You know, if you're one of those folks that like things a certain way and a, a like a certain look and are going for a certain look, not that you couldn't achieve it with this paint because if you know, you can put your bonding agent in to make sure there's no chipping. But if you're, you know, otherwise it's um, going to do what it wants to do. So it may not be a great paint for first timers. But then again, frankly, I think the hardest stuff should be the stuff that you do first because then you can just, it's easy after that. It's hard to be a control freak with this paint. Yeah, that is for sure. That is for sure. Miss Julie is watching. Thank you for watching. Miss Emily is watching. Thank you for watching. I'm just excited to get the sandpaper on all this. Some of these little looks, man, they hang up in the paint pretty well. Yeah, they do. More so than I thought they would. Move it up under here. What do y'all think of this black? Have you noticed how, how dull kind of that it dries? It is dried really dull. Yep. <laughs> Definitely looks like, like carbon. Yep, for sure. Alright, so I need furniture, people. I'm out. <laughs> Tell where, me where to go. Tell who's, me who's throwing any. it away? You give her an address or a street, she'll and be there. there. And if it's supposed to rain this weekend, don't you dare put it out on the road. You private message this place and tell me where it is and I'll come pick it up. I need some stuff. Alright. Oh, look at, just look at all this ridiculous chipping that's already happening. It's hard to see it from where you guys are. But we'll zoom you in here in a minute. Up here and there. Hi, babe. <laughs> what time is it? Is it that time? It's time for you to go. Is it two? Oh, uh -oh. it's two. So uh oh. I don't oh. have any idea what I'm going to be doing when you're going. I will tell you everything. Okay, so. Okay, so everybody listen so that we can tell Miss Sue and we'll leave the comments on. Let me see who else is watching. Miss Elizabeth, thank you for Hello. watching. Miss Jill. If I'm reading that right. Okay, so all you're doing, Miss Sue. Yep. Dry. Dry. We're gonna take your sanding block. Oh boy. Gently. Let's see. It's gonna come up a little bit. Okay. Just as much as you can. If it's not gonna work with that, you take the big nervous. guns out. Okay. I already have the pump grip right on here. You want me to help you, Sue? Really? <laughs> I had to fold. Okay. I'm very unhappy right now, people. Right, then I'm she not saying swears she's else. never going to be on camera. Now she's like, I'll help you. Yes. Oh, get over it. Really? This is how I came on live, and you're asking if your hair looks good? <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're going to sand all this to try and achieve some kind of a chip, which, again, there's a whole bunch going on here. Like, I can literally do this with my fingers. And the sander is going to make this look all gritty and dull. That's fine, because when it's all sanded to the point where we like it, and honestly, I think the sander is probably going to be the best bet, then we're just going to take the Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax Best and Dang Clear wax just to give it a seal. Good. And then we're going to take the, the Gray silver. Grungy and <laughs> we're going to put it in the detail. Ouch, Oops, that's so hot. We're going to put it in the details of all we got, here. We got new scars. And then, uh, and then we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. All right. Uh, so I'm going to get my marriage license, although I'm really <laughs> questioning myself right now as he pole dances on our bed back there. So, oh man, I missed it! <laughs> I gotta flip the camera around! No, there's no need to we do it again, it. dear! You know? <laughs> so, I guess I will be getting my things and... Well, let's introduce the folks to you! Come this on in! This is the new manager, too, by the way. So, you just almost said the A word. This is Anna. You can't hide oh, behind the You can't do that! I can hide back here. No, she's like, hi. Hi. Alright. You so know what? I'm doing it? Um, you're doing it, Miss Sue. And I'm um, turning off things here so I don't echo when I leave. And I'm um, okay, folks. Oh, well, go get your right, going to get my 
this stuff. Stuff. I can't Pull wait to see this so finished. finished. All right, we're gonna finish it up here. <laughs> it's still really wet. Mm -hmm. There are still a lot of wet spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's starting to get really chippy up here. Though. I wish yeah. we could show them. It's getting really, really, really. I'll chippy. bring the camera in. Then we can take a peek at it. I don't want to burn you. Dry my hair. All right, we're gonna do a fly in. We're gonna look at, at see where the chipping is happening. So we've got up in here, oh. some good chipping is going on, and in here, it's not flaking yet. It's not really. It's all going over the whole chipping, yet. so it's all really chip good. Yeah, see, it'll start to chip away here too. And a lot of that was like, like, see, look. Yeah, wet, dry, be... wet, dry, but trust us, it's going to get back to that when we get that top coat on there. Yeah. And the All difference right. between dry and seal is where we go on the Bye, Bye. Kittens, you guys are wonderful. Bye. Just for Sue, so she wouldn't have to be alone. So I don't panic <laughs> and start cussing. Because I don't think we'll anybody lose our wants PG. to see me panic and start cussing. We'll lose our PG rating. Got like that, we're both in there. He wants him clean. <laughs> you can't have black hands when you sign your marriage license. How, how demanding is this man? Come on now. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a trainer. He's very demanding. Plus <laughs> fitness trainers. This is freaking all pretty. Okay, some more chipping up. I think it's okay if you got a few spots coming through because the chippiness is going to show the green anyway. That's true. Alright, I'm going to dry. It's hot, start to dry. Dry. So let's yeah. give it here. I don't know if the hand sander is going to. And sometimes you can take a little scraper too. Ooh, I like little scrapers. Help the chippiness move along. <laughs> what? Left you in the frame all by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> if we weren't on live. <laughs>
Yeah, it looks like there's green and yellow and some white coming through on here. That thing's definitely looking like it was found on the side of the road. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love distressed black furniture. who like this look, this thing is turning out beautiful. straight in the container because the black comes off in it. So now we'll just have to use this for dark pieces. This <laughs> wax. <laughs> we never think about that no. until it's too late. I think it's though because we use it so much it won't. It's 
for us, we can have, ooh, that was a little too much. We can have one for dark. All right. I'm a little too much on here. This good? side I didn't see them, but we can get to that. I just want them to see the wax on the foot. Are you guys seeing this, this wonderful color in here? Look at that. Yeah, it's showing on top. Now it's waxed. Look at that up there. That wax just blends it all in there. It's super pretty. Oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, I should probably sand the drawers. Dropped off. All right, I don't know what the heck is going on. My stupid camera is deciding it doesn't want to play with me. That's you get right. one stupid phone call from I don't know who. People should know what I'm doing right now. Are we back live? I never get called. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. I apologize. Okay. Apparently, you know, me and technology were like this. <laughs> All right. I need to buff drawers. Do I need to, what am I needing to do? You were gonna sand, you can start the clear one. Do I need to sand them more? It's not showing up. Yeah, yeah I can see come it. Come back to it. Okay. April says sorry yes, you're guys, back. sorry. Are we? Thank you. I missed you all. We're all I don't know. Though. We're also very crooked. I don't understand why it's always crooked. All right. <laughs> you can take those clear wax. Okay. And you can start waxing the drawers, and we still need to wax in here. Okay. Um, I didn't even, I didn't sand in there. Oh, oh yeah, we might want to do maybe a little bit of distressing in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take Dixie Belle's Besting Wax and Grunge Gray. Teresa tried this earlier to see what the gray would look like on the black, just to give it a little bit of highlight. Yeah. And it looked pretty cool. So I'm gonna go into the little detailed areas. Go up around. I got a little I got it grab a little tiny brush so we can get in, in there. Yeah. I can do that. And then I just go back through and wipe it off.
gray. It almost looks like a shadow effect on here. I like the way it looks. It's the theme of the week. Shadow effect. Shadow effects. Let's see, we'll get everybody in closer here in a few minutes. And of course our possessed elevator is going up and down. Just tours. <laughs> Sometimes it likes to go up and down and the doors open and close. Nobody will be in there. Nobody's touched any buttons or gone near it. Except for the one, one day. I wasn't here, but I heard Heather was here. I think it was Heather and Teresa. And the elevator was doing its thing. Opening and closing, opening and closing. And so, and nobody was in the building, or so they thought. And Heather went over to the door, and there was like a person standing in the elevator. <laughs> with the hammer or heart attack. <laughs> People come sneaking in. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's that door doesn't shut right, the bell doesn't. Yeah. Ah, uh, looking pretty good. So if you ever come into the store and you don't hear it go ding, just give us a shout. <laughs> We're around. Usually upstairs painting. You want to bring them in on this wax here? Yeah, I got like most of this front part done. Let's see where we're at. My phone's probably going to die before everything is over, I swear. So I just got Again, with technology. Here, little highlights, almost like a shadow effect in some of this. Gave it that. Are we loving this, people? Come on now. Look how gorgeous this is. It is a beautiful piece. Look, I'll show you the piece that came off on the side over here. It hasn't been waxed, but you can kind of see the of it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So then we'll just keep doing this and get this piece done and ready to go out on the floor. Might be out on the floor tomorrow. Let's see how quickly I can because I'm still working on that monster bed. It's beautiful. Here let me see some of that gray. Okay. Let me just get a little bunch on there. Going little cracks, is that how we're doing this? Yeah, or you could just do it like I'm doing and just shove it in there with a bigger brush and then wipe it off. Yeah, yeah, look, see, so you right. can just go in here. Whoa, I'm throwing wax, throwing bus. things in. That's like the third time I got right. the brush today. Hold on, because I got yucky. So, go over the top of it and then, it yeah, I'm just like some cranes. shoving it in there, okay. like this. Shove and wipe, shove and wipe. Yep, I can shove and wipe. So, you get it shoved all in there. And then you can wipe the surface of it. Are y'all good? <laughs> All right, who's, who's doing what? <laughs> tearing up the store again. Who needs help? It's usually me tearing up the store. See, you can just wipe it off and you'll have it. That way you don't have to sit there with the little teeny <laughs> tiny brush. And you can always go back in and darken if you want to darken up some more. wax you really 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 need to buff it out when it's done because it will stay tacky if you don't do the buffing stage oh, okay that is a good tip to know yeah it's definitely very very creamy compared to some of the other waxes yeah it's super smooth I'm 
going to put just a little bit of the grunge on the top. There's really no detail up here. I'm just going to take some of it and fill in. I think there's too much wet in my cracks. That sounds like a Florida thing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to make sure it's dried out. comments on the way again. But <laughs> it is three o'clock actually already. Wow. Cool hour has flown by already. How'd we do today guys? It was a little chaotic, but we like chaotic. Chaotic <laughs> is our life. So we're gonna finish up this, just all this detail waxing and get the hardware cleaned up. Miss Teresa, I'll have to. I don't know if she already started soaking it or not. No, it's sitting on the table. Oh, I'll have to find out then because she won't be here this weekend. So I can get it out. How much money to restore my coffee table? I like rustic design. Angie, I, I, well, customs, we don't do too many customs. Now, I always tell people. Um, you can send a picture of it to our Facebook Messenger um, and let us know kind of an idea of what you want to do to it. And then we will see if it's a piece that we will do here in the store or that we can recommend you to one of our vendors that does custom paper. But that's the best thing to do is just send it to our Facebook Messenger. Let me show you. Our little knobs that were on there, they're uh, very dirty and dingy brass, but they got these cute little flowers in there. They're going to so, be so pretty when they're cleaned up. We're going to get those cleaned up, and we're going to keep, keep them on there. I, I like them. So, there's that. Um, she's not completely finished, but that's pretty much what she's going to look like. Yep, Once really again, let's, let's zoom in at all the beauty. Look at all that beauty. I think it looks fantastic. Me too. I'm digging it. I hope you're digging it too. Miss Mustard Seed can be your friend. Just remember, sometimes she's she gets a little crazy. You can't be a perfectionist in yeah, Miss Mustard Seed. She does what she wants to do. <laughs> she does her own thing, but I hope you liked it today. Uh, Melissa should be should be back, back on Monday. Monday. She's Make definitely feeling Monday. better. She's she's definitely coughing a lot less and has more energy. So I'm trying not to get her to work herself to death. Yeah, that would be good. But stop working so much, Melissa. So <laughs> anyway, we want y'all to have a wonderful Halloween. Um, we're open from ten to four, four tomorrow. tomorrow. We're closing a little bit early for trick or treaters because somebody really really likes Halloween. <laughs> And we want everyone to have a good weekend. So check us out again on Monday. Uh, sorry about all the cuts and breaks in today's thing. It'll get edited and corrected and put on the YouTube. And um, I'll probably drop kick my phone when this is over and say a few swear words because that's what I do. All right. Well, you guys have a good weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you very much for tuning in. We were like on the Titanic and we were like, oh, I was thinking off. No, because see where the live thing is. No, yeah. why would my phone be there? I don't know, but I don't know if you can tell us how you can see us. Hi, I'm Teresa at Rave Home Collection. Nice to see you all on this Friday. Hang on. Hi, Ann. We are. I'm sideways, aren't I? I'm absolutely, we're sideways. We're looking to see what we look like. And we are sideways. Why am I sideways? My phone should not be so sideways. Everybody would just lay down. All right, hang on. Just lay down, and then you'll be able to see us perfectly. Rotate your phone. Why isn't it? Do you have your rotate thing off lock? Like, what if you just turn it the other way? Will it go up I, and down? No. I don't want it to go that way. Oh. I want it to stay this way. But it's got to make us go that way, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give me a minute and we'll figure this oh, wait, out. Wait, are we on live again? We are on live. Oh, hi again. Hi. 
Jake, did you want to come and dance for the folks while Miss Jake? Jake, how do I out? fix this so yeah, I'm I'm, for, I'm, I'm landscape that. versus portrait? What the hell did it do? I don't bear know. with us. Right the other day. I don't know. We're we're trying to get this to work so you guys can see us without having to lay down. Is your like auto rotate on? I I just turned it off. Oh, you did. See this uh, this my lock. Bear with us. Yeah, cause we are still sideways. I tell you, I don't even I don't even get it. I think I have to. I, I think I might have to stop and start over again. All right, folks, if you're listening, try this. please bear with us. We'll be with you in a moment, so you can watch us comfortably. Stop. Um,